Hey guys, so this is a, a surprise video today. At this very moment, I should be walking out my front door, heading to my sister's house and taking her on a weekend trip. Unfortunately, we have a hurricane in Mexico right now that is actually moving its way up California. And I mean, it's not just traveling, you know, to San Diego. It's traveling almost all the way up. So, we've been watching the weather report and I kept praying that it would change paths or it would be delayed and stalled and, you know, just, just two days. That's all I needed was two days. But nope, that wasn't happening. So, honestly, I take that as a sign that maybe this weekend is not the weekend to travel. And so I'm sitting here. I got my house, uh, everything packed up. I got my house all nice and clean. And there's nothing to do. So I am going to put beads on my website. I did have an online show. Um, God, I had an online show Monday through Wednesday. And that was to raise funds to, to give my sister some money. You know, so she could gamble and have fun. And I got all my orders packed, all ready to go, out the door, and then, yeah, then we get the news of the hurricane. So, it's not getting any better. It's just getting worse. Uh, they're expecting about two inches of rain, um, which is bad because it's flash flooding. And we live in the upper desert, so we get flash flooding here too, but the lower desert gets it really bad. So I contacted my sister-in-law and she said one of her friends that has been up there for like 25 years actually canceled a little party for Saturday night and told her to go grocery shopping today. So when they take it seriously, that's when I take it seriously. And I really don't want to be on the road with people when the winds can get to 50 miles per hour. Um, we had a Ford Edge. I think that's what we had. We had a Ford Edge... On our last car and that thing was solid I mean you can go through heavy winds and you wouldn't even feel it it was awesome um, we finally traded that in after well yeah we did 11 years I think we had it for 11 years and um, we just got a Volvo SUV and we definitely have noticed that it does move around a lot more than the Ford did so I don't feel comfortable getting slashed all over the road, especially during a hurricane. So, yeah, we're just going to leave it there and we're just going to be happy. We're going to just push it off until next weekend or maybe even Thursday. It should be over by Monday, but I have a birthday party for my grandson on Wednesday. So it's only a couple days, but I thought I'd come in here anyways. So. You know the you know the plan that I'm planning on doing is putting alcohol inks on it, but I'm gonna try something else. I want to try and make some um, imperial jasper. Okay, so I want to do a green. I want to do a blue. I think I don't want that much green, but maybe we'll do green, blue, purple. Um, I think there was a little bit of orange in it. A little bit of red, and I think there was a little bit of pink. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, but what we're going to do is now that we've got kind of like equal amounts, or not quite, but we're going to color the translucent first. And if I can get you a picture, I will show you what I'm basing this off of. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to add the color so that we have just a light little tint in the inside. Um, and I want the colors to be dark on the outside, so I'm hoping if I make the inside a light color, it'll show off what I'm trying to do. So let me find a dark, a dark green, a dark purple, botanical, that might have a little bit of like, oh no, that's a really good green. Okay, so we're going to use that for green. A 
boysenberry would be a ooh, dark purple, so we'll use that. Cobalt, hmm. So far, I'm hitting, hitting it perfectly. And then what did I say? A little bit of pink. Uh, I don't think flamingo is going to be that color. No, I don't like flamingo. I have a watermelon. I need an orange. Um, I could try watermelon. No, I'm not going to try watermelon. I'm going to try a different one here. So I hope you're all well. It feels like I haven't been here forever. And it's probably because I haven't been here forever. I hope everybody's doing well. It's been pretty hot here. But not as hot as where we were going, which would have been about 118 degrees. But now with the storm moving in, it's supposed to be a little cooler. And then next week it'll be about 108 where we go. So that's not really bad. Okay, I'm going to use gumball. So red, blue, purple, orange. I need one more and I need the red. And that is not easy to find. So there's a poppy field. Mm, that actually isn't too bad. All right, so I'm going to use those five colors or six colors. If you don't have them, you can use any colors that you want. Um, you could even make this in any color. It doesn't have to be like an imperial jasper or anything like that. I'm just going to use paper here. So I have no paper towels in front of me. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add red. And for the red again, I'm using Poppy Field. And then on this one, we'll do, we'll do this one pink. Could run it through the pasta machine. I don't know why I'm not, but let's keep it a little cleaner, I think. So we're using gumball on this. Okay. And this one we're gonna use orange. Love it when your translucent is soft. Okay. So we're going to take the red now. It's going to make a mess, so that's why I'm not putting it through the pasta machine just yet. I'm going to get that, all that liquid. Okay, I think we're okay now to put it through the machine. Okay, so we're going to do that with each one of these. I'm 
Okay, so all we basically did is color it. And then we're going to put it just in a little log because we are going to do what we did before and cut them up in little in little um, chunks. So I'm going to do that with all of these and I'll come back when I have a log for everything. Okay, so we're back, but we did switch out a few colors. Um, so the orange is Valencia. I left that alone. That's right here. The green is Botanical. I left that okay. The pink was a little too pink and I needed it to look more like a rose quartz pink. So I changed it to pink, it's pink sherbet. Um, might have to add white to the outside of this. So there's those three. The blue was really blue and I'm looking more of like an ocean blue. So I changed it to sailboat blue and the purple was this one right no maybe this was the purple I don't know which one was which this is either the purple or the blue so it was just the boysenberry was too dark so I changed to amethyst so we got crimson Valencia sailboat blue botanical amethyst and the pink sherbet okay so now that we've got all this in a roll in a or a log here. Now we're going to do what we did before. No, that was the that was the pink I didn't want. So I changed the red. The red was poppy and I wanted more of a red red and it still doesn't look red red, but it's going to have to do. Okay, so again, we're going to do the chopping and we're going to add the alcohol ink like we normally do. And I don't want them all big. I want some small pieces and some big pieces. And then I'm going to try and get you guys a color of that Imperial Jasper that I'm looking at. I don't need a whole lot of the red. I just need to see how big this is going to be. So I'm just going to take a little bit of red, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of pink, and the most part will probably be the blue, green, and purple. These are just going to add little pops of color. Oh, I really like this orange. Okay. more orange than I do red. Okay, and there's the white. So there's our green. Be a little too big. Okay, and so you don't have to watch me cutting all of this up. We're going to at least put color on these three for now. I do want some little itty bitty pieces here. Okay, and then we're going to take the orange again. And we really don't need a whole lot. Now it doesn't want to come out. Okay, I'm going to add some dark orange to that. I'm going to do the same with the crimson. Okay, and I'm going to do that on all of them. And then I'm going to let them dry a little bit and we'll come back. So I'm going to do that on all of these and we'll be back once this dries. 
Alrighty, so we are back. We are not quite dry, but we are dry enough. Probably because I just don't know when anybody's going to be home and I don't want to take the chance. Okay, so we have some blue here. And of course, we're going to add in some purple. And yes, I want some big spots. I want some small spots. I might have too much purple, so we're going to leave that over there. The green is going to be the same. I don't think there's any gold, obviously, or silver in it. I think it would make it pop. But I'm not going to put any in right now. Okay, so we got that. Now we're going to add a little bit of pink. Just like that. A couple areas here and there. Uh, same with the red. Three over there. I'm just going to kind of throw them in right there. And the orange. Put one right there. I have never done this, so it's going to be interesting on how this turns out. I mean, I've done this, but I've never done it to where I've colored the actual clay. So that's why I did do a little bit of white. But not a whole lot. Just a little here and there. Okay. So now that we've got all that done, the fun part is mushing it all up, right? bit of orange there so I might as well keep that okay so now we're going to take an acrylic block We are really going to push this down. I have another camera. I might kind of transfer the picture that's on my phone onto that so you can see what I'm looking at here. If not, it'll make a really cute stained glass kind of veneer, right? I got about six pairs of beads on my me and the mutts website. I'm gonna keep going. So I don't know. I don't know if I told you this in the beginning of the video. No, I was gone for about an hour before I came back to this. So there is a beater. Um, she teaches for Michaels. I think she's on JDTV and stuff like that. And she calls herself Sarah Lovecraft. And she does a lot of lives, so you can look up her name. She makes really cute jewelry. But 
I had so many glass beads and I never know what to do with it. And so I sent her a bunch of them. Actually, I sent two people a bunch of them and just said, hey, you know, make something with these and show me how to work with them. Because I can make beads all day long. It's assembling them that I have the issue with. I just never know what beads to mix. And then I get frustrated because I have so many beads. I think if I didn't have that many beads, it'd be easier. But I have so many options, then I end up getting really frustrated. So I was hoping she would do something with them and then send me a picture of something that she's made. Well, she ended up going live yesterday and she shared all my glass beads. And there were a lot of inquiries. Oh, where can we buy those and stuff like that? So that kind of felt good and I was appreciated. It wasn't something that I was expecting. So maybe with me not going out of town, this is like the perfect time right now to start getting those beads up there just in case people start visiting. So that's what I'm working on today. But I had to come in here because I love clay and I just have not had a chance to come in here. All right, so before I open this up, I'm gonna let this sit just for a minute. I'm gonna go see if I can pull that picture off this phone onto something else. That way you can see what I'm trying to make. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, well, I've got 4% on this phone. So let's go into the gallery. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Okay, so this is Imper Imperial Jasper. Um, as you can see, it's got purples and blues and greens and some oranges and reds. With me adding the little white, may make it a little bit lighter, but that's okay. So this is what we're trying to do. So now you got an idea of what I'm trying to do, but see how the inside isn't clear, like translucent. So that's why I actually put a little bit of color into the translucent. And hopefully I get that little light color and the dark color all around. So... We're going to let that do what it's, th its thing. And this was that leftover that I didn't use. I actually added gold foil to it. And we'll see what that looks like when we're done cutting into this. So yes, I could use my Lucy Slicer. But I don't want to get alcohol ink all over it, so... Let me find a better blade. And no, I still have not ordered blades. I don't know why I haven't. I really want those Thomas blades. I just, I probably need a couple people to go in it with me. Because they're not cheap. And it looks like I don't have any more sharp blades. All right, so let's use this one. This one doesn't look like it's really been used. And this is going to end up being thin. There's not going to be a backing to it. So I'm going to do this probably about, I don't know, it looks like about four millimeters. It's a little soft. Oh God, that is nothing like Impression Jasper. Well, I think the white kind of helped it out because it would have been really dark. But again, you never know until after, after it's baked, right? So I'm going to take this piece right here. And I have some silicone molds. So maybe we can turn this into a cab. Yeah, these are really weird caps. They're kind of cute, but they're really deep. I don't know where I got those from, but they're super deep. All right, so if I don't pull out one more. Yeah, 
years ago I helped out a friend and um, she was a manager of Michael's and she was really short on help and I wanted to get out of the house so I took a position at Michael's for a while and so I grabbed so much stuff from there but I think this one I grabbed online all right, so let's make, um, it's just, God, it's just, it's too big. They just seem so deep. All right, let me see if Sculpey has one, because we do have Sculpey, right? And they might not be quite as thick. But I'm not a cab person, so I don't normally buy those. Right, I have one more mold thing to look at. And that would be this. Okay, well, I was hoping I had a mold that I could show you. But I do not have any cabochon molds so we could either hand make one I can't believe I have all these and not one mold oh I do I do I do I do there we go I knew I had something I had too much actually so let's do this teardrop right here See, all my lines are going straight up and down, and I think on that picture, they're just scattered everywhere. Yeah, they're not in a line, so maybe I can just cut it up. Have some facing one way, have some facing another way. So that's what we're going to do with this. Something huge is flying over the house right now. I've got a bunch of new planes that are going to start test flying overhead. I'm always worried, you know, one of them's going to crash. I don't know why. But we're on the flight path of a testing facility, so that's a little spooky sometimes. Okay, so there is our cab. Let's pull that out. Ah, see, now Sculpey, they're not quite as thick as you'd want them. You see that? So, I can't say that I like Sculpey molds. So, the next thing is just to take a cutter that is a teardrop shape and put some um, paper over it. So, hold on. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I can't find my teardrop. Like I said, I wasn't really prepared today to be in here. Although, you guys know me. I'm never prepared anyways. So, that really excuse would not fly. But, I cannot find any simple cutters. So, we're just going to make a round cab, okay? And I don't want to put this in the pasta machine because I don't want to spread it. So, we're just going to take a couple chunks off of that. Okay, I'm not even going to put it in anything. We're just going to build it up. I do want it a little thick. Okay, and that's going to be the top part. So let me grab a little bit of paper. Okay, that should be okay. Plenty of room to play. 
Okay. Yes, it will be sanded. Everything is sanded around here. Okay, we're just going to lay the paper down like that. Is that cab a little too small? Should I go a little bigger? Sure, why not? I've got the room. Okay, so that'll give us our nice little round edge here. Okay, so there is a cabochon that we can use. We'll see what the colors look like after they after they come out of the oven. They're pretty bright. So now let's just get a couple of these cut up. I'll tell you straight off the bat, I'm not really impressed with the colors, but then I don't know what it's going to look like until it comes out of the oven. It might actually look better than I'm anticipating. So. And I love that it's not really a pattern. You can just stick stuff anywhere. And these I'll probably roll at a one, although I like all the, the little ones. So that may change once I put it in here. So we're going to start at a zero. That's just going to even things up a little bit. Then I'm going to turn it a quarter way. And that's at a number one. All right, so I did find some cutters. And I'm not going to worry about placement. We're just going to cut these out. Now this I will because there's a line right there. So I'm going to try and avoid that. Just don't know quite how to avoid it yet. And then I have some of these, which I don't want it straight up and down. I'm going to let it go sideways about right there. That'll just catch that top part that I'm trying to avoid. It's a little too big there. Got a lot of green. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift these up. They're very soft. So I'm not going to worry about this yet. I will do that a little later. Let's pull up this little one that I made with the gold. See how that's going to turn out. I'll go a little thinner. Not much of a difference. It's a different color. I don't know. It didn't work what it was intended for, but you know what? It might be okay. So I think. 
to make that jasper, it might be easier to just take, I don't know, just take your clay with the translucent, cut little pieces, and put it into your mold. And then squish it down without running it back through the alcohol ink. I don't know if that would make it look better or worse, actually, but it's worth a try. So this we're going to run a zero and then a one as well. Okay. So I like more of the gold that's showing up on this. So we're going to do a bigger one on this. Okay, I like that right there. And I'm going to do that right there. Grab the dark spots. I'm going to put these two back together. See if I can get just one more shape out of them. So just remember that the big ones, well, you'll see the gold in it, so we'll know which is a different one. So what do we got here? We got a little bit of purple here. Let's see if we can match some of this here. Since it's already thin enough, I'm not going to put it back through the pasta machine. Unless I want to go thinner. And you can go with the three on these because if you're going to put resin on it, um, it's okay if it's a little, a little thinner. Because that resin will give it its strength. Okay, so again... Try and get some of this white with everything. Mm -hmm. Come across right here. There's no green over there, so maybe I can do it about right there. Get a smidget of the green. Maybe I can get two of these. You know, and that's basically back and forth. You just put them back together and and redo them. This is something else that you can roll into. Oops, this one I pulled a little too hard, didn't I? You can roll this into a jelly roll um, like we did in that other video. I might need another tray here. Yeah. Just remember when you're working with alcohol inks that your clay is going to be really soft. And that could create a problem when you're trying to transfer your shapes from glass to a tile or something. So, definitely a different color. But, let's see what happens. Take just these little pieces, right? They're really pretty pieces.
And you I will worry about later. Oh, we got one more from this, right? It's just a little bigger here. Okay. So these can be their own. Now, you could just leave it the way it is, okay, and just flatten it and use it like that. So that might have been a good idea, but we're going to try something else. I like that right there. This is going to add a little bit more white using this one. It's still sticky. Let's just do these two. Could these make good Nastasha beads? Uh, I, don't, I wonder. They're translucent, so I don't know. Maybe we'll do that with the other one before I let you all go. It's just a random, a random color mix, right? Ah, no, we're going to use this. There's no rhyme or reason to the design. They're just there. It's just a design. And watch, this is going to be cooler than any of the other ones. I'm already liking this a lot. Isn't that cool? And remember, this is all translucent, so it's going to give a little bit of depth once we get into it. Okay, it's so just doing that a little bit. Kind of changed it a little bit. See, I don't make, I don't really make pendants, so I'm going to kind of stay away from there. And I got a couple of these cutters out. So we might as well use them. Okay, we can make a couple solid ones. And I think with the solid, no, if I make the solid, I want to grab some of that white. All right. Just going to turn it. And then we have some bigger ones. They're going to be colorful. I'll give you that. And I kind of have like a kite here. So let's go ahead and use the kite. OK, 
Okay. And there, you just used up what you thought would have used been scrap is now one, two, three pairs of earrings. These are actually kind of cool. Let's see what they look like when they come out, but right now they don't look so bad. And I'm not worried about putting it on a tile, even though I know that it's going to add a little markings to the back. But these are all going to be sanded really well. So I'm not really worried about those. And I didn't pick all of that up. But again, I'm not worried about it. Alright, so there's changing changing things here because the other one had a little bit of acrylic on it. Okay, so that's the first set. That's the second set. I'll play with that. Make sure that looks a little more even. Sometimes, yeah, if it gets too soft, ugh, I really don't like that now. So we're taking that off. Okay. I'll put the cab on that, and there's the rest of them. On this one, yes, we're going to have to move around. I did two of these, didn't I? Why am I only seeing one? Oh, there it is. Scared me for a minute. So we're going to go ahead and lay these out perfect, and we'll be back. We'll show you what they look like sanded and resin. So see you then. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I just want to come back really quick and show you our finished... Um, our finished pieces. I do not have them in jewelry yet. I'm really sorry about that. Our oven broke, so I had to wait four or five days before I got to put this in the oven, and I got caught up on all kinds of stuff that came up. So this is this is the finished Jasper. It's not the Imperial Jasper that I was hoping for, but it still gave some really cool colors I guess you got some orange and some red so it's a little different but it's not what I was going for but it's still one two three four more pairs of earrings right so when you look at it that way it works out just good so I just wanted to share that with you and again say hi everything's good we are back to hot sunny days um, everything's been cleaned up from the tropical storm that came through and um, life is hopefully getting back to normal very soon. So, oh, I could show you something that I've been doing in between my clay projects since it's been so slow. Is I found this pattern. So I am doing using my printer to make... I got a long way to go. Yeah, this is not jewelry related, sorry. It's just for fun. Sometimes I have to stop and just have fun. And... Okay, well, this doesn't belong here. This is just to help keep it from lifting when it's printing. So I'm just going to leave that alone. But it is a birdhouse. So it's going to be two stories. I don't have it quite done yet. But I'll show you the front of it at least. So you got your little porch. And this is based off that movie Up. So it's going to be a two-story birdhouse. I still got the roof and the chimney and the balloons to make. But this is what we do when we have no orders and we're bored. <laughs> I just keep my printers busy making silly stuff. So we got that. So we're still, yeah, I got little hairs on it because it's so humid in here that actually all my cutters are coming out with a lot of hair on them. So it's been a lot of extra cleanup. But that's going to be the top. And then this will have a little perch for the bird to go in. And it does sit on a base, like so. And that way this will attach to the tree. So when I need to fill it back up, this will all be glued together. I'll just lift off the top, pour in the food, and then put this back on there. So cute, huh? We'll see what happens. I'll show it to you when it's all done. And we'll talk to you guys later. And that's it. Be safe and have a great week. Bye.